Hi guys, welcome, and who dat? I'm Joe, and today I'm giving you an update on our projected starting right tackle, Ryan Ramchek. The owners' meetings are going on right now. Some call, it, call them the spring meetings, and we have people covering the Saints that are there. And Dennis Allen addressed the media. And he spoke about Ryan Ramchek. Ryan Ramchek was supposed to have a procedure done on his knee. And then we were told weeks ago that everyone was optimistic that this procedure was going to go well. And that Ramchek was going to be fine and he'd be able to play and he's good to go and he's ready for training camp and everything else. Well, now I don't know how many weeks it's been since the procedure, but Dennis Allen is saying now that Ramchek hasn't progressed as far as everyone had hoped. So now the procedure's done, and apparently we're not any closer to him being good to go as before or whatever. I mean, now that now we're, we're hearing that, yeah, he might retire after all. I mean, this is a degenerative knee condition. When you say he's going to have a procedure, I'm assuming you're trying to do something to minimize the pain because the man has no cartilage in his knees. I don't think there's a medical procedure that can really fix that. It can make you more comfortable and you can go out there and perform. And Ramchek has been doing this for a couple of years now where he gets extra breaks. Sometimes he doesn't practice at all until game day. And sometimes he's not good to go and he can't perform on game days. So I think it's a question of whether the man wants to walk for the rest of his life or not. You know, he signed a $90 million contract with the Saints years ago. The man's rich. He took a huge pay cut this year. He was supposed to make $17 million. I think it's down to like six point something. And we all thought, yeah, this is a... This is to get us under the salary cap. Ramchek doesn't know for sure whether he's going to be able to perform the entire season or not. Yada, yada, yada. I'm starting to think he just may retire. And even if he doesn't retire, and even if we do try to go this season as him as our starter, I still feel like with all those days of pain that he might decide one weekend after not practicing all week that he's good to go or he's not good to go. Yeah, we're going to need a replacement. We're going to need backup offensive tackles. Trevor Penning on the left side. We are all questioning whether he can turn the corner. <clears throat> a lot of people are talking about Penning as well, like uh, like he's played for the last two years and was no good. No, he actually got hurt last year, and this year he played a few games and then was sat. So I hear a lot of national pundits saying, you know, Penning hasn't worked out. Well, we, we've only seen him play in like four or five games, really, total. We only asked him to be the starter a handful of times. So, yeah, we're going to need a huge improvement from Ram uh, from Penning. And otherwise, we're going to need a left tackle. And I think everyone was kind of dead set. We need at least a left tackle and hopefully Ryan Ramchek can battle through. Well, now I'm starting to think just like we've thought for months and months and months, we're going to probably need a right tackle too. How important is it? Well, I mean, I, I think it's the most important thing this team needs to do. I think we are weak at the guard position as well. Cesar Ruiz might have uh, three years left on his new contract, but he graded out worse than anybody on the offensive line last year, that right guard. And then at left guard, you had James Hurst, who was, you know, not was not going to light the world on fire, and he won't light the world on fire if he plays left tackle either. So you hope Nick Saldaberry can pop up and, and be your new left guard and everything will be fine. But yeah, you've got major issues at both tackle spots, and in my opinion, both guard spots as well. Now, you're going to go into the season with Cesar Ruiz. Hopefully, we see the best version of Ruiz. I think we're good at center with Eric McCoy. But yeah, I think 
everything else is a big question mark. And right guard is a big question mark, too. If, if Cesar Ruiz continues to perform like he did last year, well, yeah, it's not it's not Pro Bowl level, that's for sure. So I think the Saints have issues all across the offensive line. I think it's the most important thing the Saints need to address. We've signed uh, Ole Udo. Um, I think there's an option to bring back Cameron Irvin, which I would. I thought when he played right tackle in Ramchek's place that he performed better than Landon Young, who tried to take Ramchek's place for a couple of games until he got hurt. Landon Young can play both sides of the line, so I guess that's still valuable. But right now, you're talking about Trevor Penning or James Hurst starting at left tackle. And then at right tackle, you're talking about Ryan Ramchek, who's probably going to retire or <laughs> try to battle through this, this knee condition and end up missing a lot of time anyway. And then, you, yeah, you've got Landon Young. You've also got Tommy Kramer, who's a guard slash tackle option. You've also got, uh, besides Tommy Kramer, Mark Evans who was an undrafted guy last year, who's a kind of a swing tackle guard type. But yeah, yeah. Offensive line is the biggest need for this team. I would approach the season as if you don't have any starting tackles. <laughs> You've got pieces, but if those pieces actually play, they may not be that good anyway. So off of offensive line, huge, huge, Area of need for this team. I think, obviously, the biggest need. And it should be addressed multiple times. So that's it for this story. Uh, Ryan Ramchek may be retiring after all. Surgery and uh, everything afterwards. Not going as good as we thought. Not responding, right? Well, good luck, Ryan Ramchek. I, I hope that you make the right decision. I hope the Saints are prepared. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm Joe. Subscribe to Rosenfield 10 for more videos like this. I'll talk to you later.